In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Quadratic Inequality Written in Factored Form. We're asked to graph here x times x minus 5 is less than 0. On the left-hand side, we can see that the quadratic's already factored. To start, I'm going to treat this inequality as if it were an equal sign, because I want to find out where this function on the left-hand side is equal to 0. And since I have two factors being multiplied, to get 0, either the first would have to be 0, or the second would have to be 0 in order to multiply to get 0. So I have one sort of critical value here when x is 0, and from the second piece, if I isolate the 0 by adding the 5 over to the other side, I have another critical value when x equals 5. So I know that something interesting is happening at both 0 and 5. They're both turning our function into 0. So to solve this sort of problem, I'm going to create a table here. Along the top, I'm going to put my values here, 0 and 5. And along the side, I'm going to look first at my x factor. So looking just at that x, if I were to substitute any value to the left of 0, I would have a negative, and any value to the right of 0, I would have a positive. Between 0 and 5, x is positive, and larger than 5, x would still be positive. And then I'll do the same looking at the second factor, which is x minus 5. If I substitute anything larger than 5, like 6, 7, 8, then that would be positive. Anything to the left of 5 would be negative. And now that I know what's happening for each one of these factors over these different ranges, if I am multiplying them, then a negative times a negative would be positive. A positive times a negative would be negative. And then a positive times a positive would be positive. My original question is, where is this function less than 0? That's just going to be where the product is negative. That would be our less than 0 values. So we would graph between 0 and 5. But since this inequality is just less than, it's not less than or equal to 0, I wouldn't want to include those endpoints of 0 and 5. So I would graph those with the open circle, our inequality is true for any value of x between 0 and 5, not including 0 and 5. 